In October 2015, Congressman Don Beyer decided to show Virginia's 8th Congressional District what a great leader he was, inviting top-level executives to George Mason University to discuss just the facts about climate change. For over two hours, he held a pep rally before climate change advocates who were ready to depart that auditorium truly believing that the wind was at their backs, until one man stood up to ask a question. Don Byer saw an African-American man with his hand up and just assumed that he was a Democrat. So he asked him to stand up and speak, but always be careful about that for which you ask because you might get it. And Don Byer, with almost perfect SATs, should have learned never to make that mistake again with that African-American man. But I guess he wanted to believe that that retired army ranger was a chicken just like him. After all, his daddy was a bird colonel too. In November 2017, the former park ranger Don Byer with almost perfect SATs assumed again that he could teach that African-American man who stood up and decided to invite him to another town hall, like he told participants at the last forum that he had done. Don Beyer must have assumed that the man he called a fake CI Ranger would chicken out and not stand up again. But that retired Army Ranger, an assertive African-American man, immediately took to social media to let that man know that he would not miss that formation, even if the press decided of its own accord to mark him AWOL. And when that African-American man entered the calling queue for the telephonic town hall, everyone listening could hear a noticeable change in Don Byer's confidence. For one hour, that sole African-American man waited for Don Byer to extend again the courtesy to his opponent to ask a question because he had invited him, after all. And for one hour, Don Byer's aide screened calls to permit only the easy questions that the almost perfect SAT's former U.S. ambassador could answer. Of the thousands of callers, both Don Byer and his doting assistant claimed were on the line. How many other residents of Virginia's 8th Congressional District had a question that was not asked? How many other residents of the 8th were not represented by their elected representative? And is Don Byer going to shrug his shoulders again when those chickens come home to roost? Or is he going to balk like chickens tend to do? Major Mike Webb's father may have been a bird colonel too, but he didn't hatch a chicken for a son. He's bringing faith back to the eighth, and it's getting folks to straighten up and fly right already. Have you ever seen an eagle shrug its shoulders? In 2018, maybe old Don is going to finally get this bird. My name is Major Mike Webb, and I earned my wings as an airborne ranger, so I don't take any flap from anyone. Or maybe I am just pretty damn good at just winging it. Honest. This advertisement was authorized by Mike Webb. Honest.